Hello, my name is Dion, and I'm here to talk about how the Lord has delivered me from various terrible situations in my life as of late. Um, I'm going to start with a time period starting of summer of last year, which is summer of 2021. So basically, I did a job switch because the current job that I was in did not offer a steady work pipeline um clients probably decided to hold back funding because of covid and there was threat of layoffs so i decided to get in front of the situation and to seek more steady employment for myself or rather more secure employment for myself so i basically went and applied for this university it job and i got it by the grace of God. And um, the interview process went well, saw no red flags there. The director seemed like a reasonable guy and the product owner seemed like that she wanted a great team. And I was like, okay. So I started the job and week one, I noticed that the product owner had a personal problem with me. And it's normal on any software engineering team to have personality conflicts and I didn't really think of anything of it and as the time went on um mind you that this is a probationary period job it's like you have three months where they it's trial and error for both sides and then either side can decide to turn down the job or terminate the job so basically um, I knew something was wrong with the interactions with me and her because she would get very disrespectful. She would find ways to nitpick my work and to undermine anything I did. And I felt like I was totally incompetent at the job because I I would do the work and then she would have something wrong. It's like she was unpleasable. Um... I'm not even sure that's a word, but there I said it. <laughs> so basically, um, that went on. And during that time, I was not handling this negative interaction well. Um, at the time, I was a functioning alcoholic. I was drinking. To, uh, the primary reason for drinking was to handle stressful situations at work. Um, to handle emotional, if I felt negative emotions, I would drink, thinking that that would be a quick fix. I would feel happier, and then, you know, I could handle the next workday better. Well, things didn't get better at all. <laughs> so I started getting aggressive back with her, and I started losing patience with her. And she basically got a paper trail full of lies against me and I was terminated. And uh, I thought it was a raw deal because I was not given a chance to succeed in that role and she tried her best to get me out of that role. And basically, in addition to that, she only, I was the only black person on that team. And then in an all hands meeting at Penn State University, um, there wasn't, too many black people in the comments it, it, there was a difference in between the way they treated non-black people and black people it was just a racist work environment but there was someone who tried to warn that manager about her actions but she refused to listen so uh i moved on from that job and i had a small break and um i basically asked for God's help to um, help me get a new job. And that perfect uh, job came uh, down to this exact dollar amount that I asked for. That job came and I started it. And um, basically that job did not work out. Um, it was just a total misrepresentation of the job description. And I felt like with the duties that they were asking me to do was higher than what they were willing to pay. And I discovered some 
um, unethical behavior that I've reported. And because I whistleblowed on them, uh, the job ended. They decided to fire me. And I was like, man, what is going on? That's like two jobs in a row that did not work out in my favor. And I've always managed to maintain a job. And then if a job wasn't working out, I quit because I felt like life's too short to stay in a job position that's crazy like that. So I had another period where I had applied for a job. And it was below my standard, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to find another job so I can have income. So, basically, that time, God was showing me that I needed to be serious about my spiritual journey, because he had shown up in the middle of that job. Previously, uh, I asked him one day to give me peace and just to help me get prepared for the next day mentally and emotionally. And there was a storm that had came in it um, basically about maybe 30 minutes before I was supposed to log in to start my work day. The storm had um, knocked out all the electricity. And I just knew deep down that that was God, that that was him, that was his presence. And basically, I said, um, you know, I prayed and I thank him and I asked him for peace. And that 30 minutes was the most peaceful, uh, that 30 minutes was the most peaceful that I had felt in a long time. And that day seemed like a breeze, even in that toxic work environment. So from there, um, after that job, I lost that job. I had time to get closer to the Lord. And TikTok, I was watching a lot of TikTok. And I noticed a lot of Christian videos was showing up on my timeline out of nowhere. And I started liking those videos. And, you know, over time, once you like a certain type of videos, they'll sh start showing more often your timeline. Uh, actually on your for you for you page and uh the lord was talking to me through there and jesus you know became an active factor in my life he was speaking through those videos um you know i wasn't fully walking in the righteous path i was still living in sin um basically you know using fleshly things to handle real life situations so i applied for the job and i got it and there was supposed to be like a month and a half wait for the start date and i spent that summer basically doing what i wanted to do to relax and all of that stuff i was reading the bible on and off i was praying a lot more than i used to i wasn't fully praying but i was praying a lot more and unfortunately, that job I had applied for, the start date was delayed. Well, number one, the communication um, was delayed because the, rec the recruiter person had gotten in an accident and there was no communication. I thought, Am do I still have a job? Like I passed background check and everything, drug tests and all that, right? And I was like, do I still have a job? And uh, I was getting low on funds and and I basically I was like, Lord, you know, I'm going to need some funds and uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And all signs were leading to me uh, running out of funds, running out of my savings. And basically, I needed to find a roof over my head and, a, you know, basically food. So. Basically, out of nowhere, I had helped out some homeless people earlier that summer. The Lord was teaching me to give regardless of how much money I had in my bank account. And I had given a large portion of my bank account to them. And uh, so basically, I ended up going to the homeless shelter 
in my city. And I was very angry. I mean, in hindsight, I shouldn't have got that angry. But at that time, I was very angry. I was like, Lord, you're telling me to do this thing. You're telling me to give my testimony, to talk about what is going on in my life. And I have no roof over my head. And basically, I ended up in a homeless shelter. And basically, the first week that he was that I was there, um, I had a dream that I woke up from. Um, basically, I was telling someone, pointing to someone on my, uh, telling someone and pointing at my phone, "Hey, this is confirmation. This is confirmation. This is confirmation." And it was a Bible verse. And then the uh, as I was waking up fully out of my slumber. Um, the Lord had told me, I heard an audible voice clear and it was, uh, basically Hebrews 13, five, and I'll read it here. Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The part I heard him say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I just felt an immediate peace around me, just peace, like everything's going to be all right. And then later on, when I went on TikTok, <laughs> that's, that verse popped up and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be okay. And during that time, I learned so much spiritually. Um, basically, I was very, still upset about the situation. I was very angry at the job for not starting on time and that they failed to tell me um anything about it but you know the lord allowed me to go to that homeless shelter number one to help free me from my love of money and material things and to learn to think about others and to have more empathy for others um Basically, I've met a bunch of people. Um, there's a there's a lot of godly people uh, that are homeless. That you know, they're the most spiritual and godly people that you'll ever meet. If we talked about Jesus, I just found the Lord just kept sending me people to interact with. You know, they taught me about the love of Jesus Christ, how He could lead me to salvation, and all of that good stuff. And basically, uh, how can I structure my thoughts here? It's just so much happened at time. I don't know how to tell it. <laughs> um, so basically, I learned about giving when I have nothing and that the Lord will provide. I had no money in my bank account, but I worked like series of people would come to me and I knew they were sent by the Lord. Like I would get a free mail because I helped someone and God repaid me in return. It was very small things. And it was, it, you know, it was an experience that I had to go through because that was the only way I could understand what he had been telling me the entire summer leading up to that point. I had the head knowledge, but it just wasn't setting in my heart. So I would do things for other people and he would just provide right back. And it's amazing how, you know, he came through on his word. He protected me. He made sure I was taken care of. And then the job came back and the job, well, I prayed to him and I asked him, you know, to help start this job so I could be able to get out of the shelter because there was a lot of spiritual warfare going on there. Um, like, I didn't know too much about spiritual warfare. I mean, I knew about it, like, as in head knowledge. But, you know, it, nothing really sinks in until you really experience it. And just out of nowhere, I could recognize when a demon was operating in someone. And I could feel the presence of demonic spirits. And that's where I learned about deliverance and how to handle demonic spirits. And, um, so the Lord in the Holy Spirit and Lord Jesus Christ helped me out with all of that. Um, I was very heavy in prayer 
And then I got back uh, with this job. And the job started. And basically, <laughs> uh, it was just it was just the bad start to the job like that were that were so disorganized um this company did not uh the manager that was the at the client never approved our checks on time and we would have checks that wouldn't come on time we wouldn't get paid on time and then i would get angry and upset because hey i needed money and i had bills and all that stuff and at that point, I had forgot about what the Lord had did. I had a huge bill that I owed that was not my fault. And he had wiped that bill away. I didn't, I totally forgot all about that. So I've resorted back to my old ways just like that. It, it's embarrassing, to be honest. And basically, I started this job and the Lord still worked through that bad job to teach me lessons, life lessons. Um, Jesus, basically, I prayed to help him. Uh, I prayed to him to help me to get through the job. And um, basically, I was pretty good at, you know, learning the system and all of that. And basically, um, I've worked for that job from about August up until well in a week or so I'll be done with that job but uh there was a series just random spiritual warfare hits it's just I'm getting hit 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 with spiritual warfare there's demons working through these people and the majority of the team is Indian and from what I gathered from interacting with them, they're all Hindus. And there's a guy, I believe, that's Islamic. And there's two females, two women that seem to be very friendly with the demonic side of things. And I just felt like I was ganged up on every day. And, you know, even with the amount of spiritual warfare that I tried to do, against those demonic forces i felt like the job was too much but the lord's lord jesus stayed next to me and became a comfort i uh prayed to the holy spirit to help get me through the day and to bless my co-workers and then the lord required me to take a take a leap of faith and he basically told me that i have a calling on my life and I needed to start doing it. And mind you, in back in May, he told me the same thing. And I had been disobedient. Basically, he told me to put up a video on YouTube about my testimony. And I had a bunch of excuses. And I didn't want to do it. I was like, you know, I really don't like being on camera. I do it for work because I'm paid to do it. You know, I really don't like being on camera, but he told me that not only is this testimony going to help me, but it's going to help others as well. So I decided to take a leap of faith and to tell everyone about this past year. Like I was heavily in sin. Um, I was drinking every day. I was watching something that rhymes with corn. Um, it's, it was a, it was, I thought it was a quick relief for, for anxiety and fear and depression. And I was in such heavy spiritual warfare that I literally, when God, when Jesus told me what it took to be a true Christian, not just a religious Christian, but a true Christian following after him. I sat there, I was like, Jesus, I'm not, I'm not the person. I don't know what you're planning to do with me, but I'm not it. I'm, I'm doing this and this and this and this, and I don't think I'm qualified to do this. And he basically told me I qualify the unqualified. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing, but 
things started happening. Spiritual things started happening. And he's come through on everything he said. And I had been letting him down since May of 2022. And I'm finally now doing this video. Um, it's all over the place, but my mind is running faster than my mouth right now. <laughs> and right now, you know, I don't know where the Lord is taking me. But I'm glad that I finally decided to do this. And, you know, at the end of the day, my life has better been better with him than without him. Now, granted, life is not always going to be easy. It's not going to be perfect. But he will be, Jesus will be with you through the storm. And he will give you that sense of peace to conquer anything. And, you know, at the end of the day, all glory goes to him. And he's changed my life. And I've quit a lot of stuff. I've quit a lot of stuff that was not right. I'm still struggling with some things. But at the end of the day, he's still with me. And I'm curious to how he's going to use me. But thank you, everyone, for listening to me. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.